Let's assume that you've installed TubeViewX and it's receiving an image from your microscope. Now you want to utilize the inbuilt functions to create a scale bar or use any other measuring tool. First off, you will need to calibrate the measuring function. The process is similar to calibrating an eyepiece reticule and for this you will require a stage micrometer. If on a tight budget and are only using low to medium magnification, you can simply use a ruler. A calibration applies to one set of optical parameters. A new calibration is required if there are any changes in the optical path, including changing objectives, cameras, or camera adapters. If you are using a stereo microscope with zoom magnification, then I suggest calibrating for each magnification step and to only record images at these set magnifications. Replace the specimen with your stage micrometer and refocus. In Toot View X, make sure that the live resolution is set to the largest dimensions available and the digital magnification level is set to 100%. In the Options menu, select Calibrate. The drop down box gives a few pre named options. However, if you're using this program with multiple microscopes or multiple cameras, you may want to be more descriptive in the title. In this case, I've used the objective magnification and the microscope model. It is now requesting the actual length being calibrated. In this example, we're using a low magnification objective lens, so we're going to calibrate using the full length of the stage micrometer, which is 1mm. If you are using a higher magnification objective lens, then calibrate using the micrometer divisions. You will notice that a red line has appeared over the image. Drag one end of that line to the start and the other to the end of the stage micrometer. At this point, you can increase your digital magnification to more accurately position these markers, but return it to 100% magnification afterwards. Regarding the widths of the line markings, it is important to place the starting marker at the beginning of the first line and your finishing marker at the beginning of the last line. Do not place the finishing marker at the end of the line. This will throw off your calibration as you're actually measuring the length of the scale plus the thickness of the line. Press OK to finish the calibration. You can alter the calibration settings at any time in the options menu under magnification. Here you can remove, order, export or import calibrations. To apply a scale bar, return your specimen to the stage and refocus. Select what unit of measure you want your scale to read in using the drop down menu. Make sure that the next drop down menu shows the magnification that you just calibrated. The digital magnification may now be changed without affecting the measurements. To add the scale, go to the measurements menu and select scale bar. It is now asking you how long you want the bar to be. If we select 1mm, it will give a 1mm long bar that reads 1 million nanometers. You can alter the measurement properties in the panel on the left. It is often handy to increase the line width and font size. To save this capture in a format that can be reopened and edited within TubeView, click File, then Save As, choose TFT and click Save. If you want to export your capture as a JPEG or similar, with the measurements included, first run Export to Image, which is in the Layer menu. You can consider this the merging of your measurements and image into a single layer, meaning you can no longer edit the measurements. You are now able to save your capture in your desired file type using the Save As option in the File menu. It may be wise to save an image in TFT format before merging layers for easy editing later. You are also able to use any other measuring functions located across the top of the screen. You can use measuring functions on a live image, but if you desire to have these measurements saved on a capture, then you must enable the following option. In the Options tab, select Preferences, then Capture. Tick Capture with Measurement. If you have any other questions, please let us know in the comments section. For ordering information, 
contact proscitech.com.